How you guys doing? Here's some stuff from yesterday. Hey, hey, how are you guys doing? So I'm trying the the double trouble here, which is uh, hey, hey Charmaine, how you, how are you doing? So I'm trying. Uh, I'm doing. The, hey, uh, hey, Avon. There's a lot of people on uh, Instagram. I'm uh, also here on uh, on uh, what's it called on on the YouTubes and uh, yeah I've been having uh, well some cool stuff happened today hey hey prawn hey hunt some cool stuff happened today uh, greetings oh forgot to turn off the forgot to turn off the music still learning how to do all this once again uh, once again, I want to thank uh, Weaver, uh, Mark. Where's Mark? He's not in here. Uh, he's around. Yeah. Um. So let's go over. Uh, <laughs> so apparently the kids jamming a die fast in the other room. So uh, the sneakers came in today. So. It's actually one of the things I get asked about a whole lot is these sneakers. Hey, Grace, what's up? Um, a lot about uh, the sneakers. And so the sneakers are in, the, the samples, and we're going to do an unboxing. Hey, Larry. I'm going to try to wave and wave, and I'm trying to watch the YouTube, and there's got to be a way to do this. Um, so uh, hello, everybody on uh, YouTube and on uh, Instagram. Um, so the sneakers are in. I'm not going to unbox them right now because you should, I guess, wait, right? You should do that. We should do that uh, towards the end. Hey, crazy little ghost. Um, that's exciting news. They just they just shipped from Indonesia. Like I, I swear it was like three days ago. And uh, they're already here. So... Um, that means that the the Junker boots I've been talking about and the Junker uh, sneakers I've been talking about are all here and we can look at all this stuff. Um, but also, you know, Alita is, is in the uh, description, so there has to be some stuff to be said about um, Alita. And it's, it, it's I've, I think it's semi-interesting uh, for those who... Uh, for those who have the Alita Blu-ray and everything, so there's there's a bunch of Junker sneakers in Alita as well. That's really hard to see. So, um, uh, I'm just so excited. Um, and you have to be a little uh, a, a quick bunny and do some freeze framing or do a, a, a you know like a frame grab or something if you want to see it. There is a bunch of Junker stuff, Junker sneakers in the uh, pit. The first time that um, uh, Alita and Hugo go to the games. Hey, Mark is on here too. Hey, Annette. Um, hope you guys are all doing good. I smell like a burning smell. Hey, there's nothing on the stove. Weird. Maybe that's just, uh, maybe that's me. No, that's a stroke. If I smell burnt toast, it means I'm having a stroke. My coffee? I don't know. It doesn't smell like freaking burnt toast. Um, so, if you're a fast bunny and you're on uh, on the uh, Alita DVD, when Alita and Hugo first go to see like what the pit, what the uh, motorball looks like, and they go through the pit and they're looking at all the pit crews and everything, um, all that's junker sneakers. It's really hard to see. But we have a special ed edition Junker sneaker that has a really big, like, kind of flap on the front of it. It looks like some kind of, like, a moon boot or something. Hey, Meeks. Um, it's like a, a moon boot or, like, a rounded-off uh, pup tent affair. So if you're – if you're, um, it looks like kind of like those Apollo NASA boots, except for you don't see the laces because the laces are under this big flap. And I've been debating whether or not to release those as part of the Junker sneakers um, extravaganza. But there is um, at least two sneaker styles. There is um, 
uh, another possibly four. I have to figure out if I'm going to do it. Um, yeah, thanks. Actually, there's a nurse on here that, so, I don't know, I think maybe it's just burning electronics. Maybe it's the, uh, well, there's a ring light that's on here, my uh, laptop is on, and uh, I don't know, there's probably just too much stuff on in this one room. But yeah, burnt toast, I don't want to smell. I just want to, like, die in my sleep. I already told, uh, I told Yvonne, if, you know, just bury me in the backyard. I don't know what what the big deal is about uh, the funeral and all that other stuff. You can just uh, stick me in the in the in the backyard and then later dig up my bones and make like a lamp or something out of it. Um, and that that would be that would be fine with me. So I hope you guys some of you guys saw the the one yesterday. Um, there was a pretty uh, lengthy discussion about uh, aging and dying and stuff and we're gonna do. Uh, hey Kira, there's there's more uh, there's more uh, aging and dying tutorials coming up when I get to L L LA. I'm gonna film some more. Um, yeah, we could do junker lamps for sure, like out of my leg bones and out of my face my face bones whenever I'm whenever I'm dead. I guess it would be a uh, you know pretty co pretty collectible. You'd hope, right? Um, but who knows? Who knows? Like, I've put human bones on stuff before, and people get really, like, really weird. So there's this jacket I made that had these giant uh, femurs, like, coming up the sides of the arms right here. And um, uh, people did not dig it. Like, once you told them that it was the uh, human bones on there, they were just... Uh, uh, they were done. They didn't. They didn't want to hear anything else about it. They didn't want to touch it. They didn't want to be near it. Uh, nothing. So, I have tried that before. Uh, human bones are just e expensive, and also, um, the ones you can get. I think it's called the Bone Room. It's a place out of San Francisco. I think they come from China. So I don't know if it's uh, uh, members of the Happy Workers Party that that uh, I don't know. I don't know what they did, but. They have their bones. They have their bones now. That's all I know about it. Um, so yeah, and then you can find out the age of the bones too. When you buy from the bone room, it'll tell you if it's a it's an older, um, an older person, younger person, or whatever. And you usually can tell by the um, the jaw and how the teeth are worn down, and how how many teeth there is or how many teeth there is not. Uh, hey man, hey Fro. Away with the fairies. That's such a good name. Custom craft. How are you guys? So we're trying the double double trouble today because I'm also on um, over on YouTube doing the same thing. So I want to do this unboxing uh, with these sneaks and everything. Um, so there's there's sneakers and then there's boots, and I was just kind of giving everyone the rundown. So we're just dropping in. Um, do me a favor, like because I'm not gonna do this a bunch a bunch of times. Is uh, please find the Junker Designs YouTube and go over there and subscribe. So you guys can uh, help me get get my viewers over there up. Hey, Proven, uh, I want to get my viewers up and then start doing like longer tutorials. Like the ones I'm going to film in LA, they're going to be really short. They're going to be like 10 minutes, more like a teaser, um, teaser trailers or something for you guys. But you know, I want to do you know long ones as well. Hey, Rob, Rob's over on a. Uh, on YouTube, Rob's a longtime good, patient customer from, I believe, Ohio. Um, hey, hey, Blue Brand. Um, so yeah, it's uh, the shoes are always exciting. The problem is, or, or uh, okay, so let's look at the. Uh, this is the this is the old shoe. So you guys, let me zip it up. So this is the one I've been wearing for like quite some time. Um, you guys can see this, I hope, uh, okay. So this is this. Oh no! Oh no, I'm sorry, the bone room's out of business. I didn't know that, dude. Um, well, I'm sorry to hear about that guy, that person passing away. I thought the bone room was fucking awesome. So these are my shoes. There's stuff all over them. 
So we're looking at, this is the, the first version of the sneaker. Um, if you are um, a fairy, a uh, hobbit, halfling, a uh, goblin, or a uh, cobalt, you can possibly still get some of these shoes. I have some of these shoes, but they're like in a size uh, six, six and a half, I believe. So you better be, uh, you better be small. And I'm going to put those online when the other shoes go, go back online again. So this is an old sneaker. So this is all leather. This got totally worn off. It says motherfucker or motherfucker. Um, it's worn off. I, I don't know how long. I don't even know how long the sneakers were out. But you see, it's got like some like tread and stuff on the bottom. It's got the the crazy. Um, I think it looks like Alien. I think it looks like the the deck shoes uh, the Nostromo crew had to wear. That's why I, I like them so much. But this is the shoe. It's a sne it's a sneaker. Well, you know, it's a you know, what's kind of con conversey. And so, the big the big thing. Hey, Stevie, what's going on? I know you needs, like, if you have a small foot, I was just telling them, if you're a midget uh, named Stevie or a halfling, a hobbit, goblin, or other small species, there is um, men's six and a half, I think, left. So men's six and a half, I don't, what, what is that in ladies? Uh, eight and a half, I think. But there is small sizes, Stevie. For all, all the people on here that maybe, uh, you know, around five, two or smaller, there is small shoes left. They just have to break them out. And uh, I'm pretty rough on shoes. And I have to say that I was really stoked with these shoes. So this is um Old Dog. Is the guy that makes these. He's all the way from uh, Indonesia. And uh, you're you're not it. You're an eat. Uh, I don't know. I'll bring some. You try them on anyway. You can have these. But this is a men's. Uh, I wear a men's eight and a half. This is a men's eight and a half shoe. I have to see what else is in the garage. But I think it's the ladies. I mean the men's six and a half. Oh, so eight and a half. Yeah, they would fit you totally. Totally, Stevie. Hey, Meyer. Um, so anyway, I want you guys to have a look at the, this is the old sneaker. Yeah. So we'll come back to this. But I did want to show you the boot. So the boot is, uh, see, I'm going to have, probably have trouble on the, uh, connection for you guys. Um, hey, Meyer. So this is the, uh, the boot. Um, I'd like you to take note that this boot is um, is uh, pre it's pre aged. I haven't messed with it yet. I like I wanted to keep it for a little while and just kind of look at it. So um, on YouTube you can probably see this pretty pretty well. On uh, uh, sorry you guys on Instagram it's kind of kind of cut off. So I'm gonna I gotta move it all around. So this is the boot. This is the tread. This is, you can totally ride a motorcycle or, uh, they are solid. These things are solid. You could kick a door down with these things. I, ha, I have no doubt. And see, you can see this, uh, all this is going to get knocked down. Um, I'm going to put like a lot of the aging and stuff on that. It's got see these kind of oversized, um, eyelets on here. It's got, of course, the Junker logo here. Uh, on the back, it's got, I love D-rings. You'll notice on a lot of the Junker stuff, there's nonsense, nonsensical D-rings. And uh, I don't uh, have to explain myself. It just looks cool, right? I mean, put a, I guess you could hang a lightsaber on the back of your shoe if you really want to. And uh, then the, the special feature that I requested is uh, zipper. Anything that makes it easier to get in and out, um, because I, at the end of the day, when I'm done working, the last thing I want to do is put forth a bunch of effort to uh, 
take off my shoes like a normal person. I would like them to uh, unzip and fall away uh, like some skimpy longiers. So yeah, I think so too, Avon. And, and I made sure to get the big, these are the chunk, the chunky D-rings like that's on all the Junker stuff. Hey, Grim. Um, and so back to the front, if you guys can see this, it's, it's steel toe like, like nobody's business. Yeah, this would definitely be good. It's steel toe. Um, the, the sole is heavy duty, but it has like a tiny bit of give. So I would say that the, the sole to me feels a little bit more like um, some of the older Doc, uh, Doc Martens I used to wear, where it's got a little bit of squish to it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, sorry, you uh, inst Instagrams, having some problems. Um, Lupita Games, hey, how are you? So the problem that I have because I have bad knees is if the sole is like really rock hard like it was on some of the Red Wings I used to wear, it just Fs my knees up. So the fact that this has a little bit of spon sponging, you know, has some give to it, just makes it uh, all the better for me. And anyone who works on their feet knows that uh, you got to have a little, you know, give. And then if you put like an insole in here, uh, also, uh, this is going to be pretty... Uh, pretty golden I think and so that's the that's the features here you can see like there's the the crazy um, stitching and all that and then this is all gonna get sanded and everything I want you guys to see these boots so um, then here's the other feature let me grab the other the other boot because it actually makes more sense over here so so then we have the other boot and so you have, uh, if you're walking like this, you got Hellstar here, no Hellstar here. Why is that? Why is that? Hey, uh, thanks, Meyer. Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to get some crazy stuff and, you know, shoes. Ugh. So this is the feature that I like. And the lettering is going to get redone. This, I love this. See this squishy squish inside? And then if you want to, you can just flap this thing down. And uh, then if you, you know, you can just lace it up and this part will be in here. Looks like this. Some people may hate this. Uh, I really like it a lot. And it's just a, it's a weird... Uh, style thing that to me makes sense maybe not to anyone uh, else wouldn't make sense as much but um, if okay for instance if I'm wearing uh, short shorts and I do wear shorts I would probably wear them like this I like like that layered flap a do look um, and it sounds dumb, but for me, like if it's up like this and it's on my chicken leg, my leg just looks even more like, uh, hey Matt, uh, it looks more chicken, looks even more chickeny. So, you know, you can have them like this, or you can, or you can have them like this. So these are the boots. Okay, the difference is going to be. And I'm showing you guys this stuff anyway. It's just all this lettering is going to be uh, bigger. It's just going to be uh, bigger, bigger, bigger. Bigger and bigger. Bigger lettering. Hey, you guys. So that's the, that's the deal on the boots. So you got the boots. And I'm really stoked about the boots. Um, so those will be coming soon. Uh, the thing that I'm going to try to do on all this stuff is uh, I'm going to try to do, I uh, think, pre-order. Oh, man, this is killing me. This, uh, this uh, connection on Instagram is really shit, so I'm sorry, you guys. Um, 
I'm going to try and do a uh, pre-order. My battery is also low on, on, on Instagram, so the cell phone might take a dive in a second. Um, please go to um, you know where. Go to Junker Designs. There's a bunch of comments over here. Hey, Adam, what's going on? Hey, Mike. Um, go over to Junker Designs at on YouTube, and you can see the rest of this video here if this stuff runs out. Um, please uh, go do it. It's streaming live there too and I think the I don't know why my cell phone connection for trying to keep you guys in touch here on Instagram is acting like super weird. Um, but I don't want you guys to miss the uh, this. Oh. This. This is the this is the other sneakers I want to show you that came in from Indonesia. Yeah, all you guys get your butts over to, uh, please get your butts over to, uh, YouTube. I want you to, I want you to see this. Hey, Stephanie. Um, so I'm telling everyone, I know Stephanie just showed up, telling, telling everyone to try to go to YouTube and, and, uh, subscribe to Junker Designs if you want to see the unboxing for these sneakers, because my cell phone is going to run out here pretty soon. I'm streaming live already on uh, YouTube as well. Um, and so go over to YouTube and subscribe. It's just the Junker Designs channel. You can't, like, uh, miss it. It's got uh, you know, Vince Neal's on the top of the page. There's Vander Von Odd. There's actually uh, Bone, Bone Bitch Stevie is up there uh, on the YouTube page. Uh, there's a picture of a back of a jacket. You'll see this thing is streaming. There's a bunch of stuff about drawing. There's a bunch of stuff about fashion. It really helped me out if you guys can go subscribe and make sure to like the video. Leave some comments. I see already on the YouTube we've got um, we've got Mark and there's Mike and uh, Avon and uh, Adam and Rob and Mike again and Slick and Rob again. So uh, yeah, if you guys go over there to the YouTube. Um, you can see this, this stuff, uh, the unboxing, which uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Well, I've already been talking for 30 minutes, so um, you know, we can see what these, the, I, I haven't seen these shoes in person. I've seen them all in, in some uh, pictures. So this uh, may or may not be like the final uh, version Hey, Santos. I was telling everyone to go over to YouTube in case my cell phone runs out. I'm about to do an unboxing here for these uh, the new sneakers that came in. So these, these are the Junkers sneakers. Uh, these are the these are my old Junker sneakers, as you can tell. Um, they're old. And so I wanted to do some new stuff. And I already showed some boots some new Junker boots that we have. So if you're just jumping on right now, um, these are the, the boots. These are the boots. Who's, who's at the door? FedEx. FedEx. Well, put on a shirt. No, t no telling what, uh, uh, no telling what uh, what FedEx has now. There might be another unboxing here in a second. Um, I don't know. Are you talking to me or are you talking to somebody else? Hot Cheetos or Takis? I don't. I don't like either one of those. They hurt my stomach. Uh, I like uh, Fritos, as in Frito pie. Um, but yeah, so. Um, Oh yeah, so Mike's gonna take some pictures of some day. Oh me, like no, I I, I uh, eat uh, uh, pretty much Fritos. If I have to, I'll eat Doritos. Um, and then we also buy like some regular ass chips from H E B, like that are like made with beans. They say, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. I like burnt. I like burnt toast right before my long goodbye. Um, free, yeah, see, does everyone here know what a Frito pie is? If you're from overseas, you might not know what a Frito pie is. 
If you're not from the South, you might not know what a Frito pie is. Frito pie is delicious. Um, yeah. Is that anything for me? Yeah. Uh-oh. Can I see it? Okay. All right, I'm going to open these sneakers. And then it also looks like I got something from FedEx that I haven't... I don't know what it is. Hey, sweetie. Hey, sweetie. So my kid's going to chew it. Chew it open, I guess. Uh, this is this. I usually have a lot of problems operating these kinds of things. So uh, I apologize in advance if, uh, well, it's blood. It's, it'll get bloody. And I have to say, like, the, the sneaker, the sneaker smell, I always love. I think mostly because of the glue. There's a glue that they use. It's, um, well, I mean, here it's, uh, we use barge. I don't know if you guys, uh, I don't, I mean, I don't, what I'm trying to say is I don't know if Indonesia, it's called barge, but it smells like barge. This glue will, uh, this glue will give you a, give you a damn stroke in a second. All right, so, oh. So we got some nice uh, packaging here. She likes it too. So this is from. I have a I have a deal with these guys in Indonesia. They're called the uh, Old Dog. They make my shoes. I cannot make uh, my shoes, obviously. Um. Okay. So here you go. This is the the new the new sneaker. It's basically, you know, now we've got fucka. The lettering is uh, smaller and a little bit different. We were trying to make sure that you could read it a bit better. Um, so we have that. It's pretty much the same shoe, and that's what I wanted because everyone kept asking for this shoe uh, over and over. Um, it's got the you know, it's got the zipper. Um, you may notice it does have a special feature. This is what is going to dis distinguish the, the first round of sneakers that we did from the second. And that's going to be this. Hey, Rum. Um, so this is going to be the difference right here. See this? This mofo. That's the Junker logo that's on one of the t-shirts. So this is how you tell uh, Sneaker 1 from Sneaker 2. Sneaker 1 has uh, nothing on there. It's got like a... Uh, sneaker 1 has a piece of... Like a little piece of leather. Uh, the price I'm going to have to figure out. It's not going to be over... Uh, um, it's not going to be over one, one, uh, 160 And uh, this is a this is a difference that that we went through uh, as well. Is to make sure that this stuff is stitched on really crazily. Um, the thing that makes me go fucking loony is when you buy Vans or Chucks, and then this shit just starts coming off right here. And uh, I haven't worn those shoes in a really long time. So I can't tell you if they had the stitching here or not, but we've got some heavy duty fuck all stitching on here. Um, you like them? Good. I'm, I'm really, okay. And so you'll notice there is a difference in the tizzit. This one has uh, lots of ruffly ridges. Hey, Vaughn. Oh, Chef. Hey, Chef. So, Chef, um, this is like the old sneaker. Hey, Lydia, my sweetie. Uh, this is the new sneaker. It has, this is uh, le less ridges on here. But if you were a chef, um, you also may consider the new Junker Steel Toe that's coming out. And it does have a, it's a pretty soft, you know, sole on, on the bottom. So I know if, if uh, 
working in restaurants, whether you're the chef or the um, waitress or whoever, you're gonna uh, you're gonna you're gonna kill your dang feet. Um, so these are these are pretty smushy, and then luckily these boots are smushy, and then we have a bar back that's watching as well, and we have the steel toe here. So if you drop a uh, if you drop a knife or I don't even know what. <laughs> chef, that is a request. Chef, uh, where are you located, Chef? If you don't mind mind me asking, because we're talking about the uh, uh, the absolute wonder that is the Frito pie. That is for people from the South know about. Not everyone knows about it, but I'd be oh oh dude, Los Angeles. I go there tomorrow. Um. I would love to see if uh, you can make a fr uh, Frito pie. There's a there's a place on Fourth uh, Street. Oh, rad, dude! New Orleans, that's badass. I actually know the other guy that works at um. Uh, there's a there's a there's a New Orleans gumbo place that's in Chinatown that I met the the chef and owner. Um, God, I can't remember his name. But anyway. Uh, not everyone's been, uh, huh, <laughs> oh, nice, um, yeah, so there's that glue smell, so any, anyway, chef, uh, yeah, yeah, little jewel, okay, yeah, so, uh, I made Marcus his, uh, wedding clothes, um, so you know Marcus, I think he's a, a great guy. And then there's another restaurant I can't remember that was on Fourth Street. It's across from that. Uh, it's across from that bar, so I think it's between Los Angeles and Maine. And they make uh, a uh, they make a Frito pie there that's made with pulled pork. That um, somehow it lost some of the Frito pie ness in it. I, I don't know. I think it got a little too fancy, but I'm not sure. Okay, so uh, boots. Uh, we're gonna we'll do pre-order on this. We're gonna have to. These are gonna go up to size uh, 13, I believe. Uh, sneakers. This is the regular high top sneaker. These are gonna go online. It's gonna be pre-order on this, and these go up to a size. Oh, I think it's 12. Um, what I'm trying to do. The, the, the thing that's difficult about these sneakers is if you want hey what's happening if you want uh, if I want to make bigger uh, bigger sized shoes I have to pay like 200 bucks for him to make like a bigger mold for this part Piccadillo Frito pie and Mexican has uh, Mexico table cream and pickled pig skin. Ooh uh, is right. I'm sorry, I have to agree. It's the um, it's the pickled pig skin part. Uh, I usually trust Avon on on everything that's food, but I have to say, pickled pig skin has me feeling a little apprehensive. Um, so, do you guys have any crush uh, uh, questions? About these, we're gonna move on to what's gonna be, I think, uh, uh, my favorite n new item, which is gonna be, which is called the um, combat sneaker. Did you guys get on this? I'm really stoked. So just so we can see the lettering, let's see how it turned out. <clears throat> So you want to be reading like this. You talking to me, motherfucker? Or like, watch that motherfucker run. Or whatever, motherfucker. There it is. You can kind of see it. I think this is better than the other... Uh, this feels pretty good. I like this stuff. So there you go, motherfucker on the back. And that's that. So that's those shoes. Uh, I'm stoked. I'm really stoked about those. Hell yeah. Um, now this, uh, this could be something else. Oh, shit. 
All right. So, for those of you who uh, just can't seem to get enough, uh, this is what um, the other sneaker looks like. Uh, that is this. This is the Junker, uh, this is the combat sneaker. Check out this, check out this shit. This is dope. Look at that. Look at these details on the laces here. Now, before you have, uh, <laughs> Santos, man, you're like crushing people on here. I love it. Um, before you get concerned, um, uh, this strap is removable. So if, if this is a little too, uh, uh, BDSM for you, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, if you picture this being tied around your throat and or privates and it makes you uncomfortable, you can just take it off. You just slip it out. No big deal. Yeah. So let's do that. Let's take a look at it without the, uh, uh BDSM stuff on it. Which, uh, I don't mind. I think it's really cool. It also goes along with like a lot of the other junker stuff. So, here you go. So this is it. This is the shoe in all of its glory. Um, you still get the... You got the logo and everything. Um, you got the... Uh, this colossal... Uh, yeah, these are these are all based on old dog stuff, and we 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 like modify them because there's no reason to try to like reinvent the wheel because it's just uh, you know when I grew up this is the shoe that I used to buy from uh, Converse. Converse had a big uh, someone's trying to call me. And, So yeah, working with old dog is uh, is uh, fun. Yeah, yeah. So if you want old dog's uh, stuff, you can go to old dog's uh, shoes. are are pretty badass. Uh, lamps, like a skin lamp. And so here's that. Okay, this shit is on the side. So if you want to flap up in the front. You can do this as well. You have a crazy ass flap. If you want to flap down in the front, then you got this. So flap up, this, flap down, this. Or you don't you don't give a shit at all. Um, stick it in the inside. So this is the combat sneaker is what we're calling this. And so just so if anyone else is just jo joining so you can see the uh, um, the the bondage the bondage edition. I don't know if you guys can see it but there's like quilt quilted stitching all over this thing. Which is similar to the other uh, other boot that we made for Alita. So here's the one you can see the straps and everything on it. So there you go. So this is the stuff we want to get uh, online, and we're going to start doing pre-orders. And so the reason we're, we're doing this whole pre-order thing is because uh, I don't want to get stuck with shoes like I did last time. The, the problem is it's really hard to predict who's going to get these shoes and then what kind of sizes uh, you need to get. And I'm not really... Um, I'm not really gonna take the take the weird chance again. And uh, what happened is I just ended up with like a lot of small sizes left over, and then a lot of people that had some big big uh, bigfoot feet were were sad. Um, were very sad. Yeah, there, there's there's all half sizes too, Mark. I see Mark is asking on the. Uh, uh, Mark is asking on the uh, on the page here. On YouTube, they all, they all go um, by halves, U.S. and they're all listed in uh, sizes that are I guess it's European, like the 40, 
42, 43, all that, all that nonsense. Um, and, and the thing that you're going to find out when you get these, these sneakers and you start walking around, that this stuff is super, super freaking smushled. It's uh, very, very smushy. It's, uh, it puts a lot of uh, spring in your step if you're uh, an older gen gentleman or an older, older lady. Um, yeah. And where do we ship? So you ask. You may you may ask yourselves, where would you ship a, sh uh, a shoe that has uh, such an appearance? Um, of course, we'll you know I'll ship them anywhere. Distressed muscle tanks. That's funny. Um, just because I did a bunch of distressed muscle tanks for uh, Carnifex. Um, so I don't know if that's something that uh, Antoinette you want to buy or have an interest in, but I have to go to. I'll be in LA, like I said, tomorrow. I gotta, I gotta print like a ton of new stuff, and I do. I was getting these ones um, by Muscle Tank. I think you mean like the one that has the extra thin extra thin straps here and kind of like the big armhole like kind of like a dude a dude bro shirt um those those are fun so we already did that for carnifex we're gonna do some more of that stuff for some other bands coming up um but uh um yeah so that's that's the deal on that so what else is happening so well, for one, thanks for hanging out. For two, please make sure to go to YouTube and subscribe and then leave some comments about uh, what you've seen here today. If you, uh, if you like the show, if you didn't like the show, um, you know, let me know for sure. Um, comments are fine. Uh, the Jesus Head logo, um, the Jesus Head logo, that, that's a... Uh, that's an interesting story, uh, kind of. So the, the, the Jesus Head logo basically came from when I was on tour. We used to tour with this band, Zeke, a lot. I used to be in a band called Spunk a long time ago. And there was this place in Seattle, I believe, that when you went and went to the bathroom to take a dump, um, it would play Disco Inferno, and then this like disco ball would come on. I just lost all the all the YouTube people. I mean, all the Instagram people just got freaking ditched. I'm very sorry about that. I apologize. Um, so there's a place uh, there, and it was called uh, I don't know what it was called. And when you went to go take a dump, it played Disco Inferno, and this disco light came on. And that Jesus head was part of I think either their logo or it was on a flyer that I saw at the uh, at the coffee shop and then I just used it so I don't remember if the Jesus head was like in a little circle or whatever um, like how I use it or if I just like cropped it out um, or exactly I don't I don't know exactly what what happened but um, that that came from there so yeah I was pretty pretty stoked like um i really like to do art that is like kind of collage -y, clip arty or whatever so uh i really enjoyed th that stuff um so do you guys have any questions how long we've we been doing this nonsense here um i can't even figure it out it's it's on here somewhere it's on here somewhere i know 48 minutes. Okay, you guys hold on one second so I can, I gotta plug in my, my cell phone. Sweetie. It looks so sweet. I love you. You're right there. What's in the FedEx? 
Can you that? Huh? Cool and bad. Oh, give me that. Now that's from We Can Be Heroes. Did you already open it? Okay. That's All right. Sorry about that. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, you know, really follow the rules, I guess, as far as it goes with the, uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing and or not doing. So if I have to go plug in my phone, um, yeah. Hey, sweetie. Um, so, Slick, even though you missed it, you know, you can just replay it. It's, it's on the, uh, you know, it's, it's on there forever now on the YouTubes. So, I mean, live was probably, I don't know. If you'll even notice the difference. Except for I won't be able to uh, call your name. Okay, so this is really cool. So when will they be up for pre-order? I'm really, really lucky that it happens to be tomorrow when I get to town. There's a, there's a photographer, this girl Amy, that I've known for uh, like a million years. Was set to come shoot some models and use some junker stuff. And now that I have the sneakers, I can take the sneakers there. I can get those. As soon as I have some nice photos, which would be like in the next couple days, I would say by the end of the week, they'll be up for pre-order. I just have to finalize uh, the look of the boots so I can take the boots and age the boots when I get there. And those will be up, and then we should be cranking along. And then I have to decide how long I'm going to let the, the pre-order go. So for you guys who have listened to the show before, you you know that... I work for uh, Robert Rodriguez a lot, uh, Troublemaker Studios. We just did a thing called uh, We Could Be Heroes um, for a fantastic network that I watch all the time. Streaming network? I don't know, Netflix. So I don't know what this is. They just said they sent me, uh, they sent me something. So it looks like I'm a cooler it says, I'm a cooler. And then it's got the We Can Be Heroes uh, logo on the back, or front, or I don't know which. It has a ribbon. Um, it says, uh, thank you for all of your hard work on We Can Be Heroes. I think this is uh, maybe one of my favorite things about working on, on films is the free stuff. Besides getting fed pretty pretty darn well, um, there is a bunch of free stuff that you get. So this is what we got from from these guys, and then from the uh, special effects department are the um, yeah special effects department made everybody shirts. Um, Brand X, the stunt people made everybody hats. So <clears throat> it kind of like different departments will make stuff for everybody on the crew. Um, costume department, I have to say, we are lagging, 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 and I don't know why, but, um, we'll have to make sure to do something for whatever we do next. Um, so this is cool. So Netflix, uh, Robert, uh, Nina, thank you guys very much for having me work on another, uh, project. It's superhero related. You guys will see all the good stuff coming up. Uh, on Netflix, I guess, whenever it's done being edited. Um, this film had uh, Christian Slater. It had... Uh, Pe oh, God, what is his name? Pe Pedro Pascal, I think. I don't want to forget his name because he's in, he's the Mandalorian now as well. Uh, he, he was in there. Um, and then a bunch of other people. But those were the guys I was really excited about. He hearing Christian Slater talk is... Uh, is uh, magnificent because it's basically uh, sounds like Christian Slater talking in any film that you've ever heard. Uh, they'll kind of like the uh, the way he he you know breaks up his words and how he says his sentences is pretty much seems like how he talks in in the films as well. So that was super cool. Uh, really mellow dude. Um, they were all. Um, yeah, everyone was fine. Everyone was mellow. Everyone's there just to work, you know, for the for the most part, from what I can tell. Um, so that's what's been happening. So 
Uh, there's something else I did want to talk about real quick. If you guys want to uh, um, bend bend your ear just for a bit longer, and that is something I'm gonna see if I can share it. I'm gonna see if I can share it in the feed because I want you guys to be able to keep up with this. I should have put it in the uh, description of the uh, the video that I am that that we're doing, but. Uh, honestly, I kind of forgot, kind of forgot about it. Um, I didn't think I was really gonna mention it. I was trying to make sure I like covered this. Uh, the sneakers just came in, like I said, so I wanted to make sure and show everyone um, as fast as was uh, humanly possible on that. But I am doing something else, and it's uh, November uh, eight, nine, ten. Um, in Los Angeles, if everything works out with the, with the schedule and all that, um, they did ask me to come in and uh, and speak, and uh, it's uh, at the D Y S T O B I A con. I'm trying to find the link so I can because I can put it up. So it's uh. This uh, this dystopian dystopia con is what it's called, and that is something that um, the guy who runs it was running like for eight years. Uh, Philip K. Dick, kind of like Film Fest and Philip K. Dick Sci-Fi Festival, which I think turned into um, this. I I guess you know I'm, I don't want to put. Uh, that's how I understand it, at least. So then it turned into the, the Stopia sci-fi convention. And it has uh, scientists talking. It also just has you know creators and stuff talking. Uh, they're going to have, I guess, me uh, talking about costumes and some other stuff. From what I understand, they're going to have um, a costume contest, which I think I'm judging. I'm one of the judges as well on that. And that's all in L.A. And then, interestingly enough, um, I believe at the same time, there is um, the Blade Runner bar is opening in Los Angeles as well. Now, this is a guy, or the guy that I know, and I don't want to, um, I don't want to give away too much um, uh, as far as. Because uh, I don't know if I can mention the guy's name. Anyway, I think it's some guys from uh, Wasteland Weekend are in charge of uh, doing this dystopia, um, dystopian uh, Blade Runner bar with people in costumes and actors, and it sounds like it's going to be super cool. So if it's humanly possible, um, hopefully I can do the convention and get a re get a review of the bar going. And uh, go in there and kind of see what's going on, and and, and I don't think that I I I feel like they're gonna do like a really good job, because uh, Wasteland Weekend has turned into like just a massive uh, uh, undertaking, and uh, it looks like it gets better and better. And unfortunately, I've missed like a bunch of them now. I probably I don't know how many years ago we went, but we did uh, went over there for one of them. Um. So yeah. Yeah, did you miss all the shoes stuff, Jonathan? Hopefully not. Vona, I don't know if you missed all the shoes, but they're they're in here. Many shoes. So I wanted to make sure to mention uh, Dystopia Con. I want to uh, mention that there's a screen printing party this uh, Saturday in Los Angeles at Junker Designs. Everyone is invited. Um... Typically, I just whip out a bunch of screens, and then people bring stuff, and I screen print on it. I'll show you how to screen print. Um, people can uh, drink beers or Monster Energy drinks, or um, it's uh, California, so you can smoke uh, it, stuff if you want to, or if you don't want to, and uh, just hang out and you know check out all the Junker stuff. And then uh, usually everything that's Junker that you can see um, at at the studio will be on sale, and so you can buy. Uh, junker stuff while you're there as well but uh, I have some props I need to finish before I leave town so I've got to do that um, now yeah 
Yeah, right now, she said. Um, so thank you guys again for hanging out. Tomorrow might be a little dicey. I'm going to do my best to get the sh <laughs> get the show going. If I have to, I'm going to end up on Instagram doing it because I know I can at least get a live uh, feed there and uh, stand outside of the shop. Um, but I am going to try to get back on, on the YouTubes uh, tomorrow. Uh, so until then, uh, have a great day. 